this is John Cold with OKRaw.com through another exciting episode for you. In this episode, we're going to answer a question that I get asked a lot, but I'm sure many of you guys also have on your mind a lot, is do you wash your produce before you eat it, right? So right, right now, I'm sitting in my garden. we got some uh, sugar snap peas right here. We're going to go ahead and pick one off. And people always want to know, John, do you wash stuff before you eat it? Wow, that's super sweet, super delicious. So you guys saw I just picked and ate it out of my garden, but you know, um, it, it, for me, things are not simple, black and white, yes, no, I always wash stuff, I never wash stuff, it, it always varies, right? And before I get into my answer, what I want to do is get into over a dozen of my friends' answers on this very topic, well-known YouTube personalities, people teaching about this stuff that's been doing it a long time, so you can hear their answers, so you can decide if you want to wash produce before you eat it. So now we're here with Megan Elizabeth. You can learn more about her at MeganElizabeth.com or check her out on YouTube at Easy Be Raw. She's been into raw foods now for the last six years. And the question for Megan today is, do you wash your fruits and vegetables before eating? If I was eating conventional fruits and vegetables, I might, um, but I don't typically wash my organic stuff. And I know that some people will make the comment of like, well, a lot of people's hands have been touching it or whatever, and they'll just rinse it off with water. And I'm like, well, what is the water doing? <laughs> like, if there's dirt on my food, I'll rinse it off, um, you know, because I don't want to be like cracking any teeth or anything. But um, I, I typically don't wash it if it's organic. So now we're here with Christina Carrillo Bukram. She's been in fully raw, raw vegan diet for the last nine plus years now. And you can learn more about her at fullyraw.com. Today, we're going to ask her some questions. Do you wash your fruits and vegetables before eating? I don't. <laughs> but keep in mind that I live in Houston and I run a co-op called Raffoli Organic and this co-op gets fresh picked produce all of the time. When I'm standing in the middle of a kale field, the first thing that pops through my mind as I'm standing there is not where can I find the sink, I'm just literally tasting and eating out of the field. So now we're with Karen Ramsey. She's been into raw foods for nearly 20 years now. You can learn more about her at superhealthychildren.com. The question I have for Karen today is, do you wash your fruits and vegetables before eating? I do, but I don't overwater them. Um, and if I get something from the farmer's market, from a farmer who I trust his farming methods, or if it's something that um, that had come from my garden, um, then, you know, unless something's really, really dirty, then I'll wash it. But if it's not, and it's organically grown, or I get things biodyna di biodynamically grown, then I try not to rinse everything off. I think we have more opportunity to get vitamin B12 from our plants if we're not over sanitizing everything. So now we're with Lou Corona. He's been into raw and living foods now for the last 41 years. It's definitely a long time. You can learn more about Lou at loucorona.com. And the question I have for Lou today is, do you wash your fruits and vegetables before eating? Well, I have to tell you truthfully, it's probably best to do that. <clears throat> but you know, I'm a guy. <laughs> I, I have to tell you, I'm a little bit on the lazy side. So I don't always do that. But if I do see dirt, or if I see like it needs to be rinsed, I, I just rinse it. But I've been eating organic food off the garden, or um, a lot of the years was right out of the garden. I just knock off the dirt and eat it just like that, you know. But uh, no, I mean, I, I kind of rinse it off and on here and there. I, but I do, I do drink, um, use a pure, pure alkaline structured water to rinse any of my foods um, when it's necessary. But sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. That's the truth. So. so now we're with Dr. Rick Dina. He's been into raw foods for the last 27 years. You can learn more about him at rawfoodeducation.com. Do you wash your fruits and vegetables before eating? Uh, do I wash my fruits and vegetables? I usually do. It depends on the fruit and vegetable. Um, if I'm going to eat the skin or whatever or eat the lettuce, for example, I'll, I'll wash it and sometimes pat dry it with a towel. If it's something that I'm not going to eat the skin like a banana, I don't see the need to rinse a banana because I'm going to peel it and the, the banana's on the inside anyway. Um, so I don't know. I guess I, I rinse some things and, and not other things and 
I, I think the most important way to answer that is I don't get too worried about it because we're going to get exposed to some junk. We want to be as healthy as we can and not stress about some of those details about like what's the ultimate produce wash to get and should I use tap water and do I have to have an RO thing and oh my god but distills water better but it's cooked and I need the mountain spring water. People get so caught up and so worked up it's like oh my god just relax and eat fruits and vegetables <laughs> and take a lot of stress off your system. So that's the most important message I have. Eat fruits and vegetables and enjoy your life because that's what it's all about. It's a means to an end. The end is enjoying your life. What you do with your produce and all that is, again, it's a means. It's not the end in and of itself. So now we're with Nomi Shannon, also known as the Raw Gourmet. She's been doing raw foods for the last 27 years. This lady is almost 71 now. She looks amazing. You can learn more about her at rawgourmet.com. And the one question for Nomi today is, do you wash your fruits and vegetables? Heck yes. <laughs> I, I know there is a bound that, you know, the microbes and, you know, soil organisms are good for you, but I will choose which microbes and soil organisms I ingest. Thank you very much. I mean, think about it, John. Um, well, I guess the, when I first moved to California, all the workers in the fields, uh, they were no, weren't not... They weren't treated well, they didn't have water, they didn't have uh, even places to use the toilet. So now they do, but they're still like, you know, outhouses. And I mean, you know, it may not be sanitary. So yeah, I actually very carefully <laughs> wash all of my produce. How about you, do you? <laughs> you guys will learn that a little bit later in the episode. So now we're with Ronnie, which is uh, half of the Ronnie and Min team. You can learn more about them at ubraw.com. He's been into raw foods for the last 14 years. Do you wash your fruits and vegetables before eating? No. My wife does. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up washing anything a long time ago. I need one of those wives. <laughs> Actually, she does. She washes everything, and depending on what it is, she uses different methods. But most of the time, what she'll use is a tub full of water and some lemon. She'll squirt some lemon juice in there, and, and we're just washing the outside. Uh, some foods we don't eat the outside of. Some foods we just eat the inside. So those we don't wash. We just peel. But those foods that we're eating the outside, a lot of them, yeah, we do, we do wash them. Uh, yeah, that's what we do. So now we're here with Chris Kendall. He's been raw for about a decade now. You can check him out at therawadvantage.com. And the question for Chris today is, Chris, do you wash your fruits and vegetables before eating? Well, I just got a big box of organic grapes and heirloom tomatoes, so you better believe I'm not washing them. Personally, I, I don't wash it unless I taste something gross on it. I'm not saying it's the wisest. I'm never going to claim to be Dr. Wisdom, but um, even when I get conventional fruit, Personally, unless it tastes bad, I have a pretty good taste for sprays and stuff. If I taste it, I don't even eat it, you know. But if it tastes fresh and simple, I prefer not to wash it partially out of my own laziness. Um, if I'm getting it from the garden, I never wash it unless there's like hunks of bird poop on it, you know. Then I usually just brush it off anyway, you know. But my preference is to have it as close as it would be in nature, naturally, like all other animals. They're not bringing their shit to the stream. <laughs> you know, I heard monkeys learned that, you know, they did that with some potatoes or some crap about that anyways but yeah I don't, no need for me to wash it all right thanks Chris so now we're with Don Bennett DAS he's been into a raw foods fruit-based diet for over 20 years now he's definitely a wealth of knowledge and if you want to tap some of that knowledge you're gonna to want to check him out at his website health101.org do you wash your fruits and vegetables before eating um, I never do. I haven't for 20 years. I've never gotten sick from not doing it. But people say, oh yeah, you, you don't wash your fruits and vegetables because you want that B12. That's not what we're designed to get B12 from. And that's not why I don't wash my food. I don't wash my food because I'm lazy. <laughs> I, and plus I don't see any reason to wash. The only, I, I did it once. I got some <laughs> fresh spinach and it was just a dirt all over it. Okay, so yeah, I rinsed that because I just don't enjoy eating dirt. You can't make a meal of it, number one. So I don't want any of it. So I washed it off. But normally, no, I think it's much to do about nothing if you're, if you're talking about organic food now. Now, if you're talking about inorganic food, washing itself just with water doesn't really help because the pesticides are mixed with a sticky substance, so they're not going to be washed off by the rain. So just washing it in water, you need that veggie wash with the citrus component in it, which will dissolve the, uh, the sticky stuff to get the pesticides off. But organically grown food, 
if there's no dirt on it, I don't, I don't bother. All right, so we're here with Dan McDonald, the Life Regenerator. You want to check him out for sure on YouTube at Life Regenerator. And he's been into raw foods now for the last 14 years. And we're just going to simply ask Dan some questions today. So do you wash your fruits and vegetables before you eat them or before you juice them? Well, you know, it's, I, I go back and forth, you know, it just depends if there's a lot of mud and dirt and it depends on my intuition at the time, you know, but a lot of times like Lou Corona looked at me maybe a few years ago and he said, I haven't rinsed the fruit or vegetable in 41 years, which is not entirely true because if you get the cilantro and it's got mud on it, you, you rinse it. But mainly Lou lived out on the land, grew his own fruits and vegetables and, and Tavis is the same way. They like a little bit of the, the dirt on the food they feel it's beneficial and so i go back and forth and if it's a really clean dirt from a farmer that i know uh and i'm talking to them and i know them or and i i trust what they're doing yeah. then i will uh, i will you know i won't be as fanatical about it I'm, I'm right in the middle between them and people that are like you have to rinse it every single time so now we're here with dr samuel milkarski he's been into the raw foods for the last 15 years and you can learn more about Dr. Sam at drsampt.com. And uh, we're going to ask him a simple question today. Do you wash your fruits and vegetables? Depends on where they come from. <laughs> again, that's one of those answers again. It depends. Out of my personal garden, no, I, I, I actually I don't very often because I'm usually picking them and actually eating them right there in the garden, which is an amazing experience. And if you wanted to clean them with something, even in your own garden, we have a natural cleaner. It's called saliva. And sometimes, like, you know, hey, you go, this one's got some white stuff on it, might be bird droppings or whatever. Yeah, I probably would clean it off and just spit on it, you know, and clean and rub it on your pants or whatever and eat it. But if I'm getting food from an unknown source, I, I would. I'd probably wash it because a lot of the times what happens with the contamination, it's from the handling of the food, not where the food was grown. Unfortunately, on the news, we see, oh, this E. coli I think was spinach. Okay, that's an intestinal bacteria. It's not native. Uh, to to spinach, okay. Usually, it either came from runoff from a factory farm up the street, or the fact that it was handled incorrectly when it was being uh, processed or put on the truck to be sent to you. So, uh, it really the answer is it depends. If if it, I don't know where it's coming from, yes. If I know where it's coming from, then then no. Very often I won't. So now we're with Tim Van Orden. He's been into a raw foods diet since 2004. So that's like 10 years at this point. I admire Tim. Look up to him a lot. You can learn more about him and his uh, work at runningraw.com or his YouTube channel, Running Raw. Do you wash your fruits and vegetables before eating? I wash my hands before eating. My fruits and vegetables, if I have grown them, I do not wash them. If I buy them from the store, I wash them because I don't know what's on them. I don't know what they were next to when they were picked. I don't know what was on the person's hands when they picked them. Uh, often in California, you see these giant you know, fields and the people out there picking all day and they want to make sure they're getting so much per hour so if the porta potty or bathroom is half a mile away they're not going to walk to it and this is how we get salmonella outbreaks and whatnot and this has been shown in E. coli people are going to the bathroom in the fields and they may be using their hands and wiping just because they don't want to have to take the time to walk that distance to the bathroom so they go in the fields and that ends up on their hands that ends up on the produce why else would spinach have E. coli on it? it's from human feces so even if it's organic even if it was grown organically, how was it picked? How was it processed? So I wash everything I buy in the store. But everything that I um, grow myself, I don't wash. Why? Because there's yeasts and bacteria living on the outside, and they have vitamin B12 in them. Uh, some of them may have a probiotic effect on the body. So there's a lot of good stuff growing on those uh, fruits and veggies. In fact, that's how wine was first created, the yeast growing on the grapes. They didn't need to add yeast. They used the yeast that was actually growing on the grape. But now we wash the grapes and then we add yeast. Today we're with Matt Monarch. He's been into a raw foods diet for the last 17 years and you can learn more about him and his internet online superstore at therawfoodworld.com. The question for Matt today is, do you wash your produce? Do I wash my produce? That's a great question. Um, it depends. If I was in um, Vilcabamba, Ecuador, I would wash my produce because we have a whole water filtration system on our house. If I was at your house, I'd probably do it because you're one of those right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and other things. And other things. Wow, we've got to talk about that. <laughs> and then, um, but if I'm in like a hotel or something and I'm dealing with fluoridated water, it's someone, or at my mom's house where she doesn't really do much, it's like I just get this like, uh, like I don't want to do it. 
But I'm also a proponent of, I don't like eating or inorganic earthy matter. Um, I, I, it's probably some neurosis in my head or something, you know, like when you believe in like a, a way of, that someone brought up or something. But, you know, these are insoluble particles that could run through the bloodstream and clog us up and cause calcification and stuff like that. I, I'm a little neuro I have a little bit of neurosis there. So. All right, cool. So now we're with one of the godfathers of the whole living foods movement here in the U.S. He actually wrote a book, Survival in the 21st Century, that's like a classic. And I'm glad to have him on the show. You know, he's uh, pretty hard to get a hold of these days. And he's been doing a raw, enzymatic, live food, vegan diet now for the last 50 years. So he's been doing this stuff a long time. He definitely knows his stuff. If you want to learn more about Victoris Kolvinskis, you can check him out at victoris.org. So the question I have for Victoris today is, do you wash your produce? I don't even wash my face. Do you think I'm going to wash <laughs> produce? Forget it. I want all those bacteria to be there and say, well, uh, it's my chemicals. I use only, I buy only organic produce, so no, I'm not into washing. Now, I'm not saying you should do the same thing I'm doing, but I'm just telling you what I do. Basically, unless I'm, I have a basically civilized company and they insist that I wash it, then I'll wash it. But as far as my own personal choices, no, I don't do that. A little bit of dirt goes a long ways to keep you healthy. That's the way it should be. So as you guys just heard, everybody had their own opinion on if they wash the produce before they eat it. And it wasn't a clear like, yes, I always wash it. No, I wasn't. I don't always wash it. Everybody kind of had their own kind of thing, right? And I would in encourage you guys to, you know, think logically about this. You know, the FDA on one hand, you know, says always wash your produce before eating. And you know, are raw fooders that smart when they're not following that advice? <laughs> So I could see why they would say that because most produce that people eat are bought in the grocery store and from commercial industrial agriculture, right? And I want to point out that there's many kinds of different contaminants that can appear on your food, all right? So number one could be uh, bacterial contamination, right? Most of the time it's bad bacterial contamination such as E. coli, right? Which could be from uncomposted manures or manures. Uh, runoffs from the farm next door that grows animals and the farm next to that grows cantaloupes and that's actually what happened years ago and they had an E. coli outbreak on spinach people got sick from spinach and it's because the manures you know another kind of contamination besides the bacteria could be a chemical contamination so even on organic produce you know they spray pesticides on the crops of course in my opinion the synthetic pesticides that's found and used on conventional crops is worse than, in most cases, but not all, uh, than the organic pesticides used on crops. So that's another kind of contamination, uh, you know, that could happen at the farm. But then once the food is harvested, so say I'm gonna harvest this uh, celery root here, I pull it up, I gotta handle it with my hands, and the guys in the fields, maybe they don't have a, a bathroom and they don't wash their hands, and then you have hum human contamination of that with bad bacteria that could get people sick, right? Um, and then also, you know, another con kind of contamination could be just bugs, debris, or dirt, you know. So, I mean, of these contaminants, there's ones, in my opinion, that are worse than others. <laughs> of course, I think the pesticides are probably one of the worst things that you probably should, you know, wash your produce if you're buying conventional food, you know, hands down. Now, if you're buying organic, you know, uh, it, it'd probably be prudent in many cases to wash the produce off because even if it's labeled organic, doesn't mean it was grown organically because <laughs> there are studies about that. Um, but if you know a local farmer and he's growing it, there's minimal hands on it, you know, I, I probably wouldn't be so concerned about it. And the thing is this, right? If you're not growing your own food, you don't know who touched it, how it was handled, what was sprayed on it, and you don't know. So it'd be probably prudent to wash it in most instances. You know, so that's what I do personally. Like, if it's conventional food that I buy, and there's only a few things that I buy that can, that's conventional, I generally wash it before eating, and most of those things are fruits that actually I peel first, and so I don't actually eat the peels. Um, avocados is something I could think of. Mangoes I'll get. You know, uh, papayas are another one that I'll buy a conventional. Um, let's see, uh, cactus fruits is another one. I'll wash those and then peel them and then use them. And so that's one, you know, so we want to minimize the contamination of anything that you guys could get. 
And so that's my stance on conventional food. Now on organic food, you know, I might wash it a little bit less often. My goal is to always wash things, but sometimes it's inconvenient. You know, I'm out shopping and I buy a pound of strawberries in the container and it says wash before eating and I'm hungry and it's like, okay, either I could get a lower bar that I don't have to wash or eat fresh strawberries organic that I don't wash and then eat, right? Okay, I don't have to tell you guys what's better. You know, fresh strawberries that are unwashed unless they're contaminated are better than like eating a Laura bar or kale chips if you're out and about, you know? So that's what I do. But if I'm at home, generally I wash my strawberries. If I'm here at my house and have raspberries growing in the backyard, you know, I just pick them and eat them. I don't even wash them, you know? I mean, I eat all the peppers off my plants here. I mean, something like my celery or celery root where it's got dirt on it, you know, I'll wash off the dirt. If I have some leaves that have some aphids or bugs on it, you know, like, I don't know if you guys could see these guys right here. <laughs> um, I might wash those guys off before eating. But if it's relatively clean or it has a few bugs, I'll just brush it off on my shirt. And it goes right in the mouth. Because, you know, on the flip side, there are beneficial organisms on the fruits and vegetables that you guys are eating, right? And so in our modern society, which is not how we would have lived thousands of years ago. We would have lived in nature. We would have plants and fruit trees and greens grown. We just go out to nature and pick it and eat it, right? And if you lived in a utopia, had your own 10 acres of property, like I have a friend that lives on Maui and he grows all his own stuff, he never washes anything, man. He lives, he lives in an area of Hawaii where they don't spray anything. There's like, you know, a little contamination. It's pure environment. And that's what I too like to do also, and that is my goal one of these days. But if you're buying food from the grocery store, you know, it's probably prudent in most cases to wash it uh, because you don't know how it's handled, right? And if I get like, you know, spring mix or baby spinach, it says triple washed on there, I generally don't wash it because it's triple washed. Like, I've rarely seen any kind of problems with it being dirty if it's triple washed. So I like that because it saves a lot of time. If I buy like romaine hearts in the three packs, you know, generally I'll like strip some of the outer leaves that that would be the ones that were handled by people to put in the bag. And then I'll just eat the inside ones without washing as long as there's no major bugs, right? So, I mean, it, it, the answer is not black or white, yes or no, good and bad. It's like case by case basis. In general, for me personally, I like to wash as much as possible, you know, but optimally I would like to live more back in nature and eat things just off the vine because as I said before, there are beneficial probiotics and even, you know, beneficial yeasts naturally occurring on fruits and vegetables. And guess what? They live there because that's also their food source. So we're eating a diet rich in fiber. Um, you know, we're getting the prebiotics that are feeding the probiotics. And they're, you know, we're mostly actually uh, bacteria, not human. And so I want you guys to encourage your microbiome by not buying stale produce. And so the easiest way to do that is grow it yourself or get out of the farmer's market where you know the farmer grew it and he grew it using you know, good practices, not spraying toxic you know, conventional sprays on it. So in the end, I want you guys to do the best you can and do what you think. After you guys heard all these opinions, hey, please post your comment down below if you're gonna wash always, not wash, or wash on a case-by-case -case basis, you know, which is what I recommend to you guys. You know, you just use your common sense, but in general, for me, once again, I like to wash things. When in doubt, wash it because you never know how it was handled, what was sprayed on it, and at least getting some of that off is probably a good thing. And there are studies that show, you know, washing can reduce the different, you know, pesticides and things on the food. And the main source of that is just by the action of the water blasting it and hitting the produce, it basically blasts off whatever's on there. So, you know, I do recommend when you are washing is use like instead of just this, the, just the regular stream that comes out of your sink, put like the hose sprayer that like sprays it at high pressure, kind of like when you're in the shower, kind of like sprays it high pressure. You want to spray this stuff off to dislodge it. And then the other thing you guys want to do is you want to make a mixture. You know, if you do want to use different washes and stuff, a lot of those things fit and all this stuff. I don't think they work that well, though they may work better than not, but there's studies out there that show they don't. But what does work is a very simple salt water solution. So I think it's a one to nine salt water solution. Soak your fruits and veggies in that, in that and then rinse off all the salt, you know, with high pressure blast of water, you know, to get your produce clean. And, uh, you know, the other thing I'd recommend is, of course, put in a garden so you don't have to wash your produce and you maybe get more beneficial uh, bacteria 
and other other benefits from growing a garden besides just the beneficial bacteria and yeasts and you're gonna taste better food and be healthy because of it so uh hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did hey please give me a thumbs up let me know i'll do more uh q and a's with a lot of my friends like i did in this episode also be sure to check my past episodes i have at least a dozen of these episodes where i interview some of the, some of the you know top people some of the educators in raw food so you guys could learn more about what they do so you could decide you know what you want to do and that's why i make these videos to you guys for to educate you guys so that you guys could move forward and move you know further along in your journey uh, also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below to be notified of my new and upcoming episodes because i have new and upcoming episodes coming out about every five days so uh once again my name is john kohler with okraw.com we'll see you next time and until then remember keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables they're always the best. All right, this is John Kolo with OKRaw.com. Today been another exciting episode for you. In this episode, we're just actually going to talk story with you guys and share with you guys part of my history and, you know, why I believe the things I do. Now, the last video I posted is why I'm not vegan and is anybody 100%.